In this lesson, we will be discussing using the polysolid command. If you'd like to follow with this video, please open the file 0504 using the polysolid command DWG located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. You can create multiple segmented solids using the polysolid command. Multiple segment solids are 3D solids that consist of a rectangular profile and a single line path the rectangular profile follows. When creating a solid using polysolid, you first set the width and height values for the rectangular profile. Then you draw the path of lines and arcs like drawing a pie line or select existing geometry to define the path. Being able to set the size and create the path of the solids is vital to achieving the proper final results. Before we begin the polysolid command, let's check the del obj variable. I'll type in del obj and the variable is set to zero, which signifies that any 2D profiles that will be used to create the polysolids will be retained and can be frozen for later use. The polysolid command is located in the Home tab, Modeling Panel, Polysolid Tool. Again, all this command does is it literally creates a 3D solid that looks like a wall. It's not a separate kind of solid called a polysolid, it's just polyline similar tools that allow you to snap to existing 2D profiles or select existing objects to convert to a wall type solid. Before we continue on, We'll change our current layer to a-wall-outer. We'll start the polysolid command and look at the command line window to see what options are available. Right now, the height is set to 8 feet, which is what we want. The width is set to 4 inches, which is not what we want. We want a width of 5.5. I'll click on width, type in 5.5, and press enter. Justification is set to left, which is correct, but we could change that by simply clicking here and defining the correct justification. For the first example, let's go ahead and just select the outer walls as these are already polylines. I'll just press enter as object is in the command line window as an option. And now I can simply select the exterior polyline and very simply our polysolid or just simple solid is created using those dimensions. Note that it does work with arcs as well. So this is a pretty flexible tool. We'll press enter to repeat the last command and press enter again to select the other outer object and there's our other wall. Very simply, you can have walls created from regular 2D pylons. Now let's go ahead and actually draft these in here using the existing graphics in the drawing. These objects are multi-lines and I do not want to explode them into regular lines, so we'll use the polysolid command and draft in the wall solids as we need to. I'll go ahead and first change the layer to A-wall, and then we'll go ahead and select polysolid, and then for the width, we actually want a width of four inches for the internal walls. Based on my justification is based on how this will actually begin drafting. So if I go ahead and click on this side, you'll notice how it automatically goes on the left because my justification is set to left justified. I can now simply press enter, enter again, and draft in the walls as I need to. We'll learn later on that we can actually use union to union these solids. Just pressing enter, pick here, pick there, enter again, pick there, and there, and so on. So very simply and easily, you can use the polysolid command to create 3D looking type walls. Again, these are all standard solids, and if I go ahead and select them, and look at the properties, you'll see that these are just standard 3D solids. This concludes this video using the polysolid command.